Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the stream. It is me, Shellshock Prime, and tonight we are back with another session of Tales of Vesperia as part of my alphabet challenge. That's what's going to be happening tonight. Um, so, Monday was the last time that I streamed the game, and oh shit, there was a lot that fucking happened. I actually managed to get through, like, the entirety of what's left of Act of Act 2, where I had to, I had to face against Estelise, and then, like, I had another run-in with Jaeger, and then I ended up facing against Alexei, and holy shit, Alexei was a fucking doozy. And then we ended um we ended with the fact that during during like during the escape everyone was just getting out um sodia stabs sodia stabs yuri and yuri falls we're gonna find out exactly what happened with that so we'll see how everything goes um once we get into that but first um schedule for the rest of the week so so you can see like i already did tales of Asperia monday and then last night i did the first act and half of the second act of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Tonight's going to be more Tales of Asperia. Thursday is going to be Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Well, I'm going to do Kirby first. I'm going to do Milky Way Wishes and see if I can actually beat the arena on Thursday. But by 9 o'clock, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, I'm going to be joining with um, Silverstone Condor, MNG Mike, Matt Big Fat, Mullet Maple, Vesperia, Mystic Ninja, um, Epic Man, and there was one more person. There was a lot of. Oh, no, ju just dumb. And then, of course, like all of them and me. So, yeah, that's going to be happening this Thursday night. I'm definitely looking forward to doing that. Um, then, Saturday is the Su Saturday Night Game Club. I, I hope you guys are there for that. It's going to be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, that's what's going to be happening, 8 p.m. Eastern, until um, midnight at the latest. And if anyone hasn't voted yet for the Alphabet Challenge Game U poll, here is the link to the Alphabet Challenge Game U poll. It will be up until I beat um, Tales of Asperia. So, I'm hoping to beat Tales of Asperia at some point this month. Not tonight, though. I, I don't think I'm going to beat it tonight. No way. In fact, because I'm about to start Act 3, so I don't know how long that's going to be. Like, I'm, I've been reading up without spoiling myself that um, it's actually the shortest act of, the, of all three of them. And that it's really short if you don't do the side quest. But other than that, um, I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm going to go through as much as I can tonight. Um, oh, I probably won't. I probably might just do a little bit of grind. I'll probably do some grinding just so that I could be able to withstand like all the bosses that are going to be coming up throughout the rest of the game. I think that's going to be the plan. I'll probably be grinding as I go while still like moving on and progressing with the story as much as I can. So yeah, with that being said, it's time to get ready to switch over here. And as you can see, I bought a few new games recently because, um, there's a there's a sale going on on eShop, so I bought a couple of games. I bought Child of Light, Box Boy and Box Girl, Lethal League Plays, which I could actually use that for future um, Saturday Night Game Clubs, Resident Evil 5, that's going to be a future stream, and... Thank you, Arita Chan, for the raid, and thank you, um, Vespi, for, for suggesting to raid me thank you so much for that um so right now um i'm about to play tales of asperia but before i begin i'm just gonna say this real quick um i bought a couple of games off the eShop. i bought child of light box boy and box girl lead the league blaze resi Evil 5 and market and injury master um i got those because there's a sale going on for um for eShop right now and and it ends on the 16th at 11.59 Eastern. 16th of this month, mind you. Um, so we definitely got a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I do have an opening. It's a Mega Man theme, but thank you all for tuning in. Like, We're about to get ready to start up Tales of Asperia, so let's get ready to do that.
But yeah, like, I don't know what happened with that random technical difficulty, but I, but it's fixed. It's all good. Let's do it. Time for some Tales of Asperia. So, um, you you guys were just talking about Tales games. Nice. I'm just gonna, I'm just catching up with the chat right now. I'm just glad that I got this fixed real quick. All right, English. Here we go. There we go. I could just mash the button just to skip the intro because the intro, from what I heard, like, um, that will hit the vods. All right, here we go. So, we are now right at the very beginning of Act 3. Or, they say Arc 3, but I prefer to call them Act over Arc. Um, because I tend to remember it better that way. Anyway, so, we got a lot that happened, so, let's do this. Um, as I was saying before I found out that I was actually, like, that something was wrong with my mic, um, what I was saying is that... Ah, hold up. Let's let's go with, let's go do this first. All right. Once once these cutscenes are done, I'll elaborate what I'm gonna say. My room. Why? I didn't think she hated me this much. What the? It's a book. Huh? The child of the full moon. The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their <laughs> lives and power. It sealed the autophagus away, saving the world. You have awakened. Duke. So it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. So the shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the children of the full moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it Atonement. The few hmm. remaining children of the full moon, together with the Antilochea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial family are their descendants. Yuri is my bro. <laughs> yeah, I like Yuri. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos. Hey, NW06. Hey, NW06. Thanks for the post. For it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air, Krene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. My mic is a lot more distant. Damn, I think that messed up with my um my noise gain. I'll have to fix it then. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. Also, if it sounds windy, it's because of the fact that I have a fan on. There, because it's hot in here, and it's actually been really, really hot today. Um, does it sound better? What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. All right. So, what are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? Oh boy. You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. 
Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumerays. Hmm. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! Hand it over Dane Nomos, so I no longer have that. Not that I was really using it anymore. Alright, so before we before we continue, um so I've already decided on the plan on how I'm gonna handle everything tonight. This is where I would have lost it? Alright. So my plan is this, because I don't see myself beating this game tonight. No way. Um so I think I'm gonna have at least like two maybe two more streams after tonight, depending on what's left of, of this entire thing. Um, what I'm going to do is I will be grinding as I'm moving on. I'm going to be right now, as you can see, like Yuri's level 44. And I'm going to see if I can get myself like to a much higher level. Because I think it would, it would be best if I did that um, for what whatever bosses lie ahead. And I'm sure that there's going to be some really big ones. The final dungeon is going to take you bare minimum an hour. Yeah. Um, I think it would be better if I were to just like grind and just get get through have everything prepared um right from the beginning i think that's what i'm gonna do all right yeah i actually yeah i know that you guys are gonna hear the fan but i actually need to so i'll probably just push the fan a little bit backwards because i actually need the fan right now like it's pretty hot it's like 80 degree weather here like close to either close to or around 80 degree weather here in new york city this, it's locked. This must be a guest room. All right, let's save here. All right, I gotta find everybody if I can. Then again, I don't know where everybody is. Here's the end. All right. There's no one around. Maybe they're all asleep. A dog named Meow is on the counter. Who names a dog Meow? If you don't mind me asking. We've all had trouble with heat sometime on another. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong? Oh, oh wait. Yuri? Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! <laughs> Ouch, hey, hold on a sec. Yuri! It's really you, right? You're not a ghost or something. Oh, good, you have a shadow. Yeah, I'm living. And yeah, that Wow, <laughs> repeat is best dog, yes. Thank goodness. I'm so happy. Repeat just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Oh boy. Thanks. I'm fine now. Hmm. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Oh boy. Are they still like that? Supposedly, it's because of Zauda. They went to make sure the guilds didn't do anything rash. Yeah. Yeah, I love Patty in this. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are going to be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. 
Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. Wow. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. Yeah. Yuri earned the survivor title. Reunited with Estelle and Repeat. And healed. Estelle, Repeat, sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zauda. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. Oh boy. <laughs> the air crisis, Duke, the Autofagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. Yeah, definitely get your food. In fact, let me just do something real quick. While I get this together. You prefer Judith? Alright. Let's go and move on. So, oh, I can't do it here. I gotta, I gotta leave. Wait, we got some more scenes. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Autofagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. Yep. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life? For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Oh, it's really you. Oh, here we go. Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. Oh, wow. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Hmm. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to Brave Vesperia. Yes. Brave there Vesperia you go will be again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Uh oh. Now you. What do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Oh, it's a letter. Huh? Huh? A warrant. A warrant. For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. Well, really? What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So? You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. Oh, wow. <sighs> so what's he gonna do? Hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! 
So long, everyone. <laughs> Take care. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> just as I thought, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's basically just Let's Yuri go. saying no. Arrest that man. <laughs> this hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yep. Yuri! Oh shit. It's Patty. Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri! Thank the seven seas! I knew you were still alive! Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Oh! Wait, what? Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, oh. I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Rita's an Ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Wow. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Oh. It's time to take Goodbye, off. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! <laughs> Alright. Judith and Patty are now back with the team. Autofagos just there in the sky. It's horrible. Yeah. To think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along. It's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. Hmm. It would bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta go to Osvio. Let's go and get the map. Alright, we're gonna go to fly to Osvio. There we go, right there. Let's we'll find a good place to drop the characters off. There we go. And now we go right into Osvio. Here we'll get Rita. Seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. Yep. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I wonder what she discovered. I hope so. Let's go and see. Wait, what's this something? Didn't I cause didn't I see her exit? I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. Well, it wasn't my first treasure hunt, was it? <laughs> Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So, alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh, boy. Now, that's true on multiple levels. No special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed. You are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. Aye. Okay, maybe I should go back. Let's move through. Alright, let's go here. Yes, I'll take a hint. Because I remember there being save point here. So I might as well save now. Okay, cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now—it's a slight spoiler. Um, 
if there's a direction that I need to go, um, there's fireworks outside. Why? I don't know. It's locked. There must be a top secret facility. Kiwa has a unique shape. Over the sea. Maybe someone fished him out. I took the Fiertia everywhere to look for him. Sure. But he never turned up anywhere. Maybe he drifted ashore somewhere? <laughs> well, he is Yuri. <laughs> right. As long as he is safe, that's enough. I If you need to do anything in Ospio, do it now. So I'm assuming that once I once I leave Ospio, then I don't come back. Welcome back, Ar Arita Chan. All right, let me go over here. Let me go into Rita's hut real quick. Oh, she's here. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So, Rita, we can make a key formula. The efficiency is okay. Making a stable, non-dispersing piece should be. Hey, Rita. What? Don't bother me. Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into? Wait, you're. Hi. <laughs> Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue <laughs> about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Ooh. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However, that is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the child of the full moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. Nah. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the child of the full moon, wasn't it? Yeah, so if, it, if it's gonna be if it's gonna become unaccessible at some point, well we'll see what I can do now. Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up. The air will get even worse, and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! Oh boy, let's do it. Rita's back with us. Ooh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking oh for boy. him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. Wow. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap? 
Are you happy? <sighs> oh boy. Okay, let's move. But he just became conscious. Yeah, like, how could he... Whatever logic Rita has, like, it's completely flawed, if you ask me. How could he be searching for them if he was unconscious the whole time? So, everybody that has been, like, looking for him, like, they wouldn't... Like, they wouldn't have known that he was alive unless someone would have specifically found him. Oh. Let's get the light bottles. Yeah, I don't really think there's much to do here, so I think I will leave. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. Oh. So, shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. Alright, so we're gonna move through. We're gonna leave and we're gonna go back to Dongress, because I that's where that's where Carol and Raven are right now. Alright. Let me find a good place to drop down. There we go. Alright, and now back to Dongress. There was a marketplace somewhere around here I want to go to. Yeah, right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, what else do I want to do? I think there might be some better ones, like elsewhere. Let's go. Anything I can synthesize right now? Let's take a look. I'll say the specific, actually. Hmm, what should I get? Hmm. 
no will not give you an extra life. Oh, wait, this is a thing? There's another one to add a, a fourth over limit? Yes, I'm definitely getting that. Oh wait, giant scroll. Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't need that giant scroll. I'll get that. I'm definitely gonna get that um, limit quartet right now. Wait, hold up. Now. Okay. Yeah. So now I can actually do four over limits. Let me go over to the end to, to save real quick before we continue. That's what I would actually like to do right now. Anything with the purse icon is an accessory like the canteens you're currently wearing. Yeah. Alright. Now let's move. We're gonna go and look for, um, for Carol and Raven and see what else we can do here. Got a cutscene. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? No! Yuri! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you. Hmm. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. I said Yuri was <laughs> leaving you <in> first. <laughs> I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius's Apatheia, the Cyanosio. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. Alright, got Carol, but Raven hasn't joined just yet. Alright, so now we gotta go to the guild's union. Then we gotta continue on afterwards. Got some cutscenes? The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because <laughs> nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's Epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That Epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? 
Hmm. He just walks away. Wait. That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Wait, what? Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zot. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. Sorry about that. It's just the people riding motorcycles around my area. I had to mute myself because it kept going. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Wait, he muted the game too? Hold on, let me see something. Carol. What? Who's this kid? Oh, yeah, I, I was just wondering. I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Yeah, because I had to mute myself earlier because there was some motorcycle, some, some motorcycles, or cyclists, whatever. They're just basically just moving around, just riding on motorcycles. Because obviously, weather is pretty decent outside, aside from the heat. Like the slight heat people want to ride because my friends are there for me I can do anything they're still there for me even now why isn't that good enough for the Union boy is right the best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other there is always a way to deal with things even if you aren't some great big leader the Don told you that from now on you have to walk with your own feet you know how to walk on your own feet don't you uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Yeah. Hey, you, wait up! <laughs> Harry's obviously not helping. What about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Wait. Here. Oh, it should. He just gave it to us. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Wow. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. All right. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. All right, what's the hint? The rift. We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. 
got the Apathea, Cyano Seal Crystal. And of course, Raven joins the party. If you sleep at the Dongress Inn, you can get a lot of special scenes for Carol and Halaka's Mystic Art. Okay, then let's go and do that real quick. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. <laughs> Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Ah, <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. <laughs> Alright, so let's move to the end. Okay, so let's move. Alright, let's sleep at the end. Yeah, we have enough. I have to get... I have to... I have to... I have to, I have to get stronger. Yeah! Ha! It's not how many times it takes, but I believe it's three or four scenes will... Specifically tell you when he gets a special spell. The weather may change if you stay at the inn, which can also change the types of monsters that appear. Some monsters that carry rare items only appear under certain weather conditions. Experiment a lot and see what you discover. Alright. So, yeah, I think he's staying at the inn? Alright. So I'll stay in the end. Yeah! Rah! Hey! What? Huh? You startled me! Huh? Aren't you... The Harry, right? Weren't you practicing here last time too? Oh, yeah. I always have trouble sleeping whenever I come back to the city. Because of the dawn? Yeah, I want to be strong, like he was. Every time I think of what he did, I feel like I have to work harder. Mm. You can borrow this. What's this? It's the sword that the Don used. It's heavy. It feels heavier than it looks. Yes, all the responsibility of holding the guild together is contained in that sword. Yeah. I'll let you use it whenever you're practicing here. It should make for better training than what you had in the past. I can use the sword? I'm just lending it to you though. You have to give it back in the morning. I still need to work on mastering it myself. I see. Thank you. Don's sword. Alright then. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, let's go through this first. It seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're oh probably boy. scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. You can oh, never I can't understand sword, being yeah. so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. Alright. Now. See, that would have been nice if I would have been able to have access to that sword. Let's stay for another one. Yeah! Yeah! Your stance is still too weak. You'll never be as good as a fighter as the Don was like that. Ugh. Yeah! Yeah! That's it. Imagine your opponent in front of you and swing the sword just so. Right. Alright. Wait. Okay, so before we continue, let's do this. Why did Yuri fall at Zod anyway? The core was falling, so I couldn't see very well. Did he slip? Dear, yep. what a clumsy lad. He wouldn't be able to do much about Alexei. It was pretty hot, so maybe he just wanted to take a refreshing dip. 
returning to the embrace of Mother Ocean? That's not like the boy at all. Still, imagining it makes me want to crack up a bit. Alright, so, for the next thing, um... Let's go ahead and try this again. Ria! Ria! Okay, one more attack and then take a break. Right, Dragon Uppercut! <laughs> it looks like you've gotten pretty good at using his sword. Maybe, but I still have a long way to go. Huh. Hmm. Looks like you've surpassed me. What do you mean? You learned the weapon art that's stored in that weapon. Oh, I see. But what's this art? The Don used this weapon. It's got to be a good one, right? Yeah, seems like it. You surpassed me. You won't need to borrow this weapon anymore, I think. Yeah, right. Thank you, Harry. Carol, Carol learned a special skill. And thank you once again, Vespi, for telling me about this. So that's definitely going to be useful. Now, let me go ahead and save real quick. Getting close to the 40 hour mark in game, even though I know I've surpassed 40 hours in general. Okay. So, now we, now we are going to move on. Alright, so... It's time to leave, and we're going to move on. So let's do this. Wow! The hourglass is really amazing! The enemies just stop moving! Yeah, certainly makes it easier to win battles. You can get ready for what's next, attack enemies, change battle formation. And if we're having trouble running away from enemies, this makes it a cinch. Oh, and it even lets us keep enemies from running away. It's seriously awesome. Hourglass! <laughs> Personally, I find this way easier. <sighs> All right. So, I think this would be a good time. I think before I progress through the story, before I go back to Sophia, I'm going to go to the area where Sophia is. And I think I'm going to be grinding there just a little bit. So I'll go fly there. Sure, hint. I'll take the hint. Yeah, I'll definitely take the hint. <laughs> All right, before anything, I'm just waiting for the hint. And then that'll determine what I'm gonna do next. Cause I wanna do I wanna do some grinding. Let's look at let's look at my my character's levels. So looking at everyone, um Estelle, Judith, Patty, and Carol are all level 43. Everyone else are level 44. Wanna bring everybody up as much as I can, and Judith is actually the closest to getting to the next level, followed by Yuri. Alright, let's take a look at the character skills. I'm gonna modify everything right now. Let's see what I can actually do. If you go into the tavern west of the Union and talk to the guy next to the lady behind the counter, he should give you a key, then head to Gossifrost and head through the main entrance, and then 
lever to the left, and you will get a scene to get Alexei's sword for Yuri. Alright, I'll go do that. Um, let, let, let's actually go and do that. But first, let's see what I can do here. Alright, I've got to give Estelle some stuff right here. Alright, um, let's see. The problem is I don't want to give her these. And I can't give her these at the moment because I still need to work on them. So I can't really do much right now for Estelle. For repeat, let's see. Um, I'll give him. I'll give repeat. Um, quick turn. For Judith, let's see what we. Let's see what I can do. All right. Um. Not much I can actually do at the moment. I gotta. I'll I'll come back to her for that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I could take out for Patty? It's actually the guy right of the lady behind the counter. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, I have taunt on. Yeah, let's take that out. Like, I'm not gonna need that. Like, I'm not really gonna need taunt in general for any of the characters. Maybe for Yuri, but not for anyone else. So, let's see. Decreases TP consumption when Yuri's in the battle party? Oh, hell yeah, I want that. Okay. Okay, so, Rita. Let's see, uh... What do I want to... If I can get one more thing out there, um, I'll probably put the Spirit Healer. I want to see what I can take out. Oh. That's, a, that's not going to apply because Rita's going to be like a character I'm not going to use. So I'll give her Spirit Healer. And I'll, and I'll give her... Nah, I think that's... I think that'll, um, that'll be it for now. Alright. You know, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Alright. Okay, so let's go to the map. Back to Dongress. So I'll go do that real quick. So, um, the tavern. Okay, let's go to the tavern. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over there. Um, Head to the tavern and go and do that. There's two taverns. I gotta figure out which one. I think this tavern right here. Oh yeah, the west. Um, so let's do that. Let me sit up. Okay. The guy next to the lady behind the counter. Alright. Oh my, yeah. You know what the first idea about fashion? Have you my dear? I don't think this is the person. Nah, I I I realize it's not the person. But I got a but I got a white dragon rider title for pure white dragon rider title for Judith. Wasn't what I'm going for, um maybe this one right here? The witches won't look at me at all lately, I'm so sad. What should I do?
the guy. Oh, maybe this one. Doing well. That's good to hear. Come to think of it, I ended up getting this key from those Blood Alliance guys. But I don't have any use for it. You can have it. Apparently, it's a key to the lower level of Gastrofrost. Okay, let's move. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is exit. We're gonna go to Gastrofrost. I wish there was like another exit like that, but no. Or we're gonna exit the way that I came from, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Go this way. Alright, let's go. Let's go this way. So you, so Vespi, you said um, head to the main entrance and then leave it to the left. Okay. There's a keyhole in his left labor. Come to think of it, didn't we get a key a while back? Oh, this looks like it might move if you use the sorcerer's ring on it. Then let's go. Ah, so this is what they were keeping in the lower levels. What is all this? That Blastium network that Alexei was trying to create. This is all equipment that was used to be used for that. This is? Yes, it seems that he has Barbo set up G Gassafrost as one of the nudes that was the network. So Alexei was behind what Barbaros was doing after all. With Zade at the center of the network, and other nodes at Gassafrost, the capital, Kalpa, Halor, Heliord, and Asbio. This network siphoned air from Blastia all over the world to Zade, giving him all that power. Air should be used so that people can live hap happily, but he wanted to use it for his own personal gain. And that's what causes teensy little global catastrophe we're dealing with. I can't forgive what he did, but I can't help feeling a little sorry for him. There's no need to feel sorry for him. It's because of Alexei, Alexei's evil deeds that our world is in such trouble right now. There's no use arguing about someone who's already dead. What's important is that fight to protect what's important to us now. I couldn't said it, have said it better myself, Carol. Uh, it was nothing. What the... this is? What's up, Rita? This is what Alexei was using. It's the fake Dane Nomos. How did it get here? Wasn't this destroyed in the fortress, fortress shrine of Zade? Maybe they made multiple copies. That would make sense. Each of the copies is a control key for the Blasia in its node of the network. Then the Blasia here is also? Yes, I thought it was strange. I never saw how Barbaros could control this tower's blastia, as immense as it is, with that crude imitation he had. But if they have this one that Alexei made, I can't believe it. I can believe it. Is it okay if we take that? It could cause the air supplier to stop working and make the tower stop functioning. But that's all right, right? Sure, sure, no problem at all. Take it, would you, lad? Take this. So we're going to use the power that released the offer. Have a big. Out of Thagos to go and defeat it? I like the way that sounds. Alright, let's go. False Dane Nomos. And over here we got a limit model. Let me go ahead and um, equip.
Alright. But it's like, here's the biggest dilemma. It lowers the agility, and it definitely lowers the magic attack. I mean, not that I really need magic attack for Yuri anyway. But the agility, though. And he already knows Bastion. But I still need to learn, um, over limit team. Alright, so now that I got that out of the way, we're, we're leaving. Now let's, let's leave and go back to, um, the area of Sofia. Sofia. We're gonna go there right now. Alright. Alright. So that's a good spot. Baul can land on ice, damn. Where could I actually go? You have to go from one of the entrances, damn. Oh, no, 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 I, I was just there, I don't want to go there. New battle beam. A new skill or the art. Alright, sure. No problem. Right now, I just want to do some grinding. Unless there's a better place for me to grind. There we go. Come back, I want the big one. The best place to grind XP might actually be a Gigantum Master you can go fight. I'm not sure if you're high enough level, but you can try. There was a Giganto monster in, in a forest that I didn't fight. Forgot which one though. Looks like one of the earliest Giganto monsters. I should be able to beat it now. In fact, let me actually let me actually take a look around. to go to Emid Hill. 
There's one in front of um, the eight on hold. Yeah, I gotta go to that one too. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's see if I can actually do that. We'll go to Elbeat Hill um, later on. So you said it's in the front of the it on hold? Alright. I gotta look around and find it. Wait, that one. One fantastic dog. You're the one. You'll make a fantastic mascot. Woof! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Forgive me, the name's Lewis. I'm with the Evergreen Girl. Evergreen, huh? I've never heard of that guild. They haven't? They're in the union and everything. We get people the information they need to enjoy each and every season to the fullest. But why? He's promoting the seasonal goods manufactured by his guild. But it hasn't been going so well lately. The boss put me on notice. One more screw up and I'm one more screw up and I'm out for the other guild. That really sucks. So what are you selling now? In the cold winter months, nothing beats snowboarding. Picture it. The air is crisp and clear, and the air chills to the bone. And soft, powdery snow beak beckons. It's thrilling and refreshing. Isn't it too dangerous to do that beyond the barrier? We send the armed guard with you, so you can board worry-free. It lost me at the air chilling to the bone. That made me want to stay in bed. You're a wuss when it comes to the cold, huh, Raven? He's not alone. Everyone has pretty much the same reaction. Should have kept your tra trap shut, old man. What? It's not my fault. I just hate the cold more than I want to snowboard. That's exactly how I came up with the idea to advertise with animals instead of people. Ah, that explains your interest in repeat, then. Exactly. I have no trouble pulling people with him as my mascot. How about it? I admire your enthusiasm, I can see why you chose him. But it's his call to make, so are you in repeat? You're the top dog, the coolest, what do you say? Help me up, just as once, please. Ah, oh, don't make me beg. Do you want me to do it, um, Vespi? Or do you think I should just continue grinding? Because personally, I'd actually like to continue grinding. So I figure I ask right now. A snowboarding mini game that just gives Santa outfit for everyone. Yeah, I'm not really all too interested in it then. I'm just, I'm just gonna move on. Because I wanna actually go through the game. Actually, I think we'll pass. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but honestly, let me know if you change your mind. He'll still be here if I decide to change my mind anyway. So let's go and fight. Maybe if I go the other side over here, maybe I might be able to get this. Turn the field map. Oh shit! Oh shit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this thing right now. Yeah, no, I can't beat him.
There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat it. Alright, sure. Let me know what I need to do. Let me get let me get the map ready so I can fly. Alright, so I'm not doing that then. Go to Elmead Hill and enter from the cop cop on north side? Alright. But let's do that. Okay, it would have to be from this side. and go to the right. Yeah, I know which way. I think I might know which way it is now. Wait, I didn't open this? Oh, it's an orange gel. I, I can't believe I overlooked that. Wrong way, head back. Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. Let's move. Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I think I see it. We're not talking about this one, right? Like this, this area over here? What's with you? These flowers are so pretty. Hmm. Hey, that's that's a siren. That's a siranthus bloom. You actually know a lot about plants, don't you, old man? Oh, I dabble here and there. Hmm. So what's that one called? Ah, huh, one second. It's a teardrop tulip. How about that? Why, um, that's a, a rainbow flower. Wrong. Crimson Nanesco and Beauty Berry. Some bond is your. I just happen to not know those. Looks more like you just happen to know Sirenthus Bloom. No, no, really. So how did you just happen to know about these nightshade flowers? Ugh. Hag, listen to me. Sounds like you got a special reason. Kind of. Nightshade's just a flower an old friend of mine from the nights used to like. Our friend's room was always full of them. So you had a couple of friends then. So you're saying that like it surprises you. Poor old Raven just curl up and die if you let them all alone. Just what is the correct response when a man starts whining like a mouse, I wonder. You say, oh Raven, you big silly, you're so cute. Heh, <sighs> that's not the word I'd use. Ugh, Judith, darling, you're as cold as ice. Good grief. It's a little like Flynn and Yuri, what with you having a friend in the night and all. Well, now, it can't compare to the shining example of friendship those two young lads have got going. But yeah, we were pals. I don't think my, of my friendship with Flynn as shining. Really? But you was a fleeting thing for all of us. That friendship's long past now. Oh, did you fight about something? Hmm, I suppose you can call it that. Would you mind picking a few of those for me, young man? No miss? Oh, hmm, oh certainly. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over there a little bit, because I know there's a Giganto here that I didn't fight. I want to check it out. But there's also some items that I didn't get here. And there we go. Oh. 
I should use actually should just use instead of wasted. I thought there was. Okay. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna exit this area and go to Mount Temza. Maybe that might actually maybe I might have a chance against it. Feels like it was ages ago that I left. <laughs> you feel the same way, Baul? You're talking with Baul? Yeah, we were just remembering the time that we first met. Would you mind telling me about it? A long time ago, Baul used to live on the summit of Mount Hemza. The townspeople all feared him. They thought of him as a giant, ferocious monster. But I talked to Baul and eventually we became friends. About how old were you then? I don't remember exactly, but I think I was pretty young. From that point on, we started traveling together. My dad came too. Your father did? My dad had a fierce passion for Blastio. I feel like I was influenced a lot by him as I grew up. Soon after that, the Great War happened. I was about to become a statistic, and then Bowles saved me. You were right in the middle of the battle, weren't you? Yes, my fellow Critians took me up in Miozoro for a while, but I went back down to the surface. And then I decided to travel around the planet with Baul. To destroy all the Hermes Blastia and rid the world of its negative effects. I see. So Baul saved your life. Yes. I feel like I, sh I understand the connection between you two a lot better now. Thanks for sharing that with me. Dad. So, let's climb down. Wait. Hold up. I set myself to fly over there, and then, like, I don't know what happened. There we go. Let's climb down. Because he might have glitched you. Yeah, I think it did. I was like wondering what the hell went happened. All right, we got a cutscene. Never gets any easier, no matter how many times I come. Bad memories of the Great War. Yeah, there are those too. Uh, what are you? Lost Fire Lily. I mentioned I had a friend that liked this flower, right? My friend is here. Why would you have a friend here? You mean a friend from the Knights? Some waste their lives while they're alive. Others waste their lives by dying too soon. Your friend died in the Great War. Yeah, humans. What a sad bunch. Oh, I didn't realize. Why a better knight than me? Always use the family's famed bow. Man, such a brave knight. Never did find out what happened to that bow. Maybe it's still somewhere here in this field. Could be. Finding it would be pretty tough, though. <sighs> Thought maybe if I just bummed around, Casey'd get mad enough to come back, but, uh... <laughs> That's so sad. Hey, hey, hey! Don't go getting all gloomy on me. What are you talking about? You're the one who started this sob fest. I, uh, 
Sorry. Anyway, rest well, Casey. I know you're in a better place. Hey! Something's falling out of the sky! Huh? What is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding. So, what is it? Hmm. This was Casey's favorite compact. But how... The ghost of your friend must be watching over you. Ghost? That's impossible. It was just a coincidence. You call this a coincidence? Like, maybe a bird picked it up and then dropped it by mistake. Yeah, that's gotta be it. So, was this Casey friend of yours a woman? Woman? What? Oh, <laughs> a lady from the old man's past? Now, Rita, remember your blood pressure. Oh, come on. I want all the juicy details. Yep. Sorry, there ain't much. For starters, another guy already had his heart set on her. A tale of unrequited love, then? A love on war's fickle sea. A lady gone too soon. Oh, such a tragedy. Oh, boy. Okay, that's enough. You guys go ahead and think what you like, though. Here's to you, Casey. I'm doing okay with these kids here. I'm doing okay. Compact of Remembrance. A compact left behind by someone Raven like. It brings back a bittersweet memory. The Giganto monster should be in the next scene to your right. Next screen to your right. Sorry. Let's go this way. Alright, that must be it. Um, okay. And if I can't, if I can't beat them, I'm just gonna run. First things first. Magic lens. Okay. I might be able to stand a chance against this. And the key word here is might. So, let's do this. Actually, wait, hold up. No. Before we we're gonna fight it, but hold up. I actually forgot to do one important thing. So we have to come back. There's one major thing I gotta do. Um I'm going to go back to the field real quick, and I'm going to go and save. And then I'll come back to fight. Because I haven't saved for a bit. So it's better if I go save now, and then I, and then I fight that. So that if I die, at least I can- at least I'll be over here. And I broke 40 hours in game. But as you can see over here, when you look at the um, the home menu, when you look at this, I broke 50 hours. You might want Rita on your team to knock it down from a distance with spells. Okay, I'll I'll take Judith out and replace her with Rita. Here's a simple tent. To heal myself. Okay, I should be good to go. We're gonna go and do that now. I like the night aesthetic of this area. That actually is gonna help. So, right now, it's time to take this chance and do it. Shut up! 
I should have revived while Lightning Gale was going. Uh oh, over limit. Some of HP? Okay. Oh god. Hey, help me out when I'm casting. I'll protect you. And another. Oh, really? You just grant us your favor. This is a weird fight right here. Yeah, that's the refreshing part. I'll use the life bottle and have her do Nightingale. Damn it. Now we gotta get we gotta get repeat back to life. Oh, we're, we're getting close to finish beating him. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was staggered. Almost beat him. Just a little more. A little bit more and then we got it. Shining Dragon's War! 
There's a few more hits to go. Yes. Yeah. Look at all the gold I'm getting. How much am I gonna get? <clears throat> I'll drink to that. That's a lot of EXP. Alright, very good. Holy shit, wow. You know what, I feel like I feel like taking the, taking this thing out. This looks like fun. I need to figure out how do you actually do that. Synthesis? Alright. I need to think of some good secondary weapons to make. I think if there's a good time to do that, I feel like now's a good time. You thought you could win? Too bad. Alright, let's move. I want to find another Giganto, but I want to see if there's any one that I can actually stand a chance against. Because like when I saw it, I'm like, okay, that's doable. Because the one I fought, that was doable. Capitorum? Alright, I'll, 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 I'll look into going there. Let's do that. Let's actually go through. I haven't been here in a while. It's the end. Fortune's Town. Hmm. Oh, this one. Alright, I'll make a spike shield. This one will be for, um, Flynn. Oh, but wait, oh. Pirate's gun? Make a new buckler for Yuri. Okay, I can do that. Tyrant fist. But I 
can't make that. Or actually, I can. Or not, I can't. Because I need one more eight man coat. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Wow, that's a that's a big drop for HP. Holy fuck. I don't know if I want to equip that. Cause like yes, that's a like she she gets a uh, magic attack, but the HP drop. I don't think I should do that. Hmm. Oh, that's actually not good stat wise. Also look at making new weapons or armor. So go to accessories. I think you can make a fairy ring, which is like the emerald ring, but better. I need a golden horn. Um. Where can I get the golden horn? Because I need one, then I can make one. Because if I can get that, then I can actually make a fairy ring. And the thing is, I actually own a fairy ring, it turns out. So let me go ahead and equip it on somebody. Um, I'm actually going to give the fairy ring to, to Yuri, the one that I have. And I'll give um, the other one to... Um, I believe it's actually close by if it's raining over by North Harbor. Rivgaro should be around. All right. Give her the emerald ring. Alright. 
this. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Try walking around for cutscene? Okay. Yeah, if nothing happens, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move on and okay, there's a cutscene. Hey guys, look! Come see us again real soon, okay? Okay. That's a promise. <clears throat> we run into each other in the craziest places. Well now, let's take it easy. This isn't really the time. What's wrong, Gauchi? Right. Uh, um... Goodbye. Okay, bye. What's with those two? Now, what do you suppose those two are up to? Pardon me, but are you acquaintances of those two young ladies? I wouldn't say acquaintances, really. Oh, I'm so relieved. Huh? I worry about those girls. They have the misfortune of being easily misunderstood, you see. But now that I see that they have this many friends, I can't stop my worry. Misunderstood? But the members of the look like- Oof! <laughs> How might you know our friends, miss? I am the governess of this home, and they once live under this roof. Home? This orphanage was built to shelter those children who have no one to depend on. The two of them lost their family in the war ten years ago. She's gotta mean the Great War. Hey, who are they? If they're our big sister's enemies, I'll beat them up. Here now, hush ball for you. How generous and kind of you. It must not be an easy job. Oh my, no. I could never manage all of this alone. It is all made possible by the donations I received. Jaeger is his name. He really does too much for us. Jaeger? But what do he want to do a thing like that for? I don't know his reasons, but he's never asked for anything in return. Danny, I'm hungry! Oh yes, it's time, isn't it? I'm sorry. I must be going. I wonder what it could mean. I wouldn't think you would have much interest in charity. Something's going on here. I mean, those two are obviously Jaeger's personal guard. You don't think he raised them as orphans just to make them his underlings? He just might try something like that. Huh. What is it, lass? Oh, I... When we were talking with her just now, I truly felt that whoever did this had good intentions. But can that person... Can that person be the Jaeger we know? Your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Okay, now you have a new boss fight if you want to go to do, do it right now. Why, sure, yes. I would be more than happy to. But first, to the end. Because while already healed, I'm just going to make sure to save for good measure. There we go. Now I'm gonna go outside. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's not what we're gonna fight? But I'd be happy to take this thing out. See? Okay. Now the question is, go back to Zarya where you fought Jaeger and just the one of those two are essentially mini Jaegers so be prepared? Alright. Let's let's go there. Alright, let's go to the water. Too many Jaegers, okay. So if there's a save point here, I might, I might as well use it. Okay, you can go through the front entrance now as well. Alright, I just wanted to make sure to save here, just, just in case. 
But yeah, it's refreshing just to go to this area with the front entrance. Alright, let's go. I guess we could take some of these guys down while, Keep while your we're here. On my sword. Would have been nice if Yuri could have learned the scanner ability. Don't get me wrong, I like repeat. But sometimes I like to have other characters in, in the heat's place once in a while. Still, I do I do like having this. The sign of victory. Asura. Actually, that's better. You may want to use repeat and have him use deeper reese since you can actually steal their weapons and get them to a stealth. Okay. Then what I'll do right now is put up repeat. No. Strategy, repeat. How do you steal with repeat? Oh, you want me to actually use repeat? Like, as the front. Right. Let's go this way. Going the wrong way? Wait, they are? So they're level 60. Is this for normal difficulty? Because that's the, that's the one I'm on right now. Okay. Without spoilers, is the final boss higher level than them, or are they higher than the final boss? Without knowing who the final boss is.
Um. All right. And I'm assuming that, like, if I were to en encounter them in battle, I would never be able to run. All right. The boss is like level 88. Oh shit. And does the boss have any type of like over limit arts, like mystic art, where um. Holy shit. Gotta get out of here. Does he have like a mystic art that will wipe out like my entire party, like um, Alexei did? Puts you at one HP, damn. All right. So what do you think I should do now? Besides grinding, because grinding is what I'm gonna do. Sorry about the setup, you may just want to continue with the story because what else will I think you're about to go on a little bit of a fetch quest that will put you through a couple more dungeons? Alright. Yeah, I'll figure everything out. Let's see. Let me let me just see about. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, then I'll, I'll. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Sophia. You may want to go into the last dungeon you were. At which was Zard, since I still hold the best enemies, and Poseidon can respond occasionally for you to fight him again. Alright, I'll go back there later. Right now, I'm gonna go um, to Sophia just to get that out of the way. Let's get the holy battle out. I want to get this part out of the way. Gold, so gold, 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 gold. So, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? Yeah, I think I, I think I might do off-stream grinding after after the stream. My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. And then, like, whatever, whatever type, of, and then, like, the rest of the streams is going to be whatever story stuff I can actually do. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. 
I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air in Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I'll wager a billion gold on that! The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. Alright, let's do it. Freezing. I think there's a cabin or something where we get out of the cold. I don't think anyone would build a cabin on top of a sheet of ice. If we just had some fire. Oh yeah, Rita. Use your magic to give us some fire, would you? <laughs> what am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire right. anyway? Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the guilds and the knights and all, it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like there's enough fat to burn very well. <laughs> That's too bad. Huh? Hey! I'm gonna figure everything out right now. Let's go this way. Alright, so I did that, but nothing happened. Ooh, a psychedella! A long cloth belt with a dazzling pattern, originally used to distract attackers. Hmm. Alright, lowers the magic attack and physical attack, but it raises TP, which I'm leaning towards using this, but I wanna, before I even think about that, I have Death Contrast, like a magic green that raises up. Ah, I see. be a good idea to make sorbet in this freezing weather. Hmm. It's, it's, it's so cold. My d d d teeth are chattering. <laughs> Too much to eat. I think sorbet can be delicious, even in the cold. So it was you. I was just expressing my opinion. I never said it was me. J J Judith, you're all right eating sorbet to dress like that? If you get an upset stomach, Judy, I'll give you a massage. <laughs> That's hardly something you should be nope. saying with your... Purple lips in your runny nose. Rita, can you cast spells like that? P probably not. My d teeth are chattering too much, and my hands are too stiff to hold my weapons. Eating sorbet in a frigid, cold field of snow. <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> That's why a lot of ice cream places here in the city. When um, hold up, 
this scene. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air. You're quite the thinker. Before I continue with the scene, I just want to say this real quick. Because we have a lot of ice cream places here that they're still open during the winter, but they don't make that much business because there are people who don't like eating ice cream when it's cold. I personally don't mind when I'm indoors, but outdoors, no. But, yeah, so they have the, they, they have the idea where it's like they shouldn't eat ice cream in the cold, or rather, in this case, sorbet. That's our genius mage girl, Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. But it, but in the desert, obviously, you want some sorbet. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah! They were protecting the world from the Autophagos! You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone! Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The children of the full moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorzo's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. All right, looks like we're gonna fight this thing. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. You picked the wrong people to fight with. We'll grab this over here. Seal bottle. It's an ambush! I'm not used to this team. Welcome to this. Wind Rise. Oh, what nice. He's got risky cast. Nice. Let's 
spell that can give you something as underwhelming as a fireball or stone blast. Or as you just start can give you something as powerful as a tidal wave. Let me go grab what's inside this chest. A bloody coat. Divide. Reduce all damage inflicted on allies and enemies during battle by 50%. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Let me move around for a bit. Let me go. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. I'll take the head. Did I pass by an iceberg earlier? No, I guess I didn't. Let me go grab it. Let me go grab that chest. Spirit symbol. A map, a spiritual relic, only occasionally restores three percent of max TP. You figured it out. What I was going to tell you: you can push those icebergs, and then some of them can have treasure stuck in them. Yep. There we go. Hourglass. Temporary freezes the enemy during battle. I'll save that. When I'll think I need it. Save here. Nice.
Should be grinding, but I want to get through the story. I, I'm going to be doing a lot of heavy grinding, like, off-stream. We life bottle. I wouldn't really have made that reference at all. to fight this thing. Okay, so this is a very peculiar one. All right. Oh wait, there's an iceberg there. Let me go and shoot this one. Alright, no, nothing happens. I think I already did that one before. But this one, I need to figure out how to get it to move. Oh, there we go. Must have been from a specific angle. It would have been too easy if I would have done it close. Lapis lap, all that for a lapis lazuli. Shining Dragon's Lord! 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 Shining
I just knocked this thing out. Come on. There's no way we're going to lose. Let's go this way. Not that way either. Gotta find a way to get to the airplane. Not the fight. Thing's too big. This looks like fun. For too big for switches. Just dumb experts? Ah. Let's move. Is it me, or is the ground around here changing? It's because they're ice drifts. They move on the water and change how the ground looks. Wait, so if we don't get out of here soon, the path could shift and leave us stranded? It's certainly possible. Yeah, but then we could use a block of ice to float merrily across the sea. Yeah, you do that, old man. I'm not kidding. Stick with me. It'll be fun. I'm not cut out for fun. Oh, all right. I don't want to be stuck on top of a block of ice with a spoil sport anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Monster's not gonna show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. I haven't played Guitar Hero in a long time. Uh, um, I don't understand. But I'm good at DDR. I'm good at some, a yeah. couple other rhythm games. Okay. I'm, I might be okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing Depending water on whatever's and going let your on. body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanociel. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. Yeah. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. 
We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanociel. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone, let's do this. Okay. Sure. Oh, Why not? Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Let me stand. Is it up? Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. Firm rules. Air conducted by Rita will flow from right to left on the top line in color. Press the button A, B, Y, or X corresponding to the color of the air and the correct timing when it overlaps a spell's force field. Represented by the blue mark to reconstruct, reconstitute it. If the button is not pressed at the correct timing, air will leak. So beware. The, gap. the gauge on the right represents the amount of mana collected. Collect the specified amount to clear the game. Okay, let's do this. Nice. I got it. And on my first try, too. The air is collecting in the cyanocell. The formula's working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh. Wait. What's going on? Who is that? I am. That voice. Bellius? Judith. Bellius. Yes. It is not my Bellius. Or rather, <laughs> I was once Bellius, but no more. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have. Amazing. I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay, so did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans? What creature am I? 
though no longer Peleus, the Intellikeia, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! What? An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Yeah, Carol should shut the fuck up. Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the spirit Undine. Ah, Undine. I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Hmm. Okay. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. Yeah. We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? Aye. There are very few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios, and Baul. Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Aria Lumen and Reloise, the root of the world. Your friend Baul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crinit has quieted down too. Even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick! But as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. Hmm. Rita earned the Spirit Hunter title. So that was it? That was the Fetch Quest title? The Fetch Quest thing? Alright. <laughs> Rita, you look happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels <laughs> over. <laughs> okay. Let's go save and then, um... We're gonna get out of here and move on to a different place. We're gonna go and exit. Alright. Yeah, I do love me some Sprite. 
it's not my favorite soda, but it's definitely like my favorite lemon lime soda. We got a head start. Let's take care of them quick. With seven up being a close second. Not a fan of um, Sierra Mist. Sunkiss is a good orange soda. Um, orange Crush is kind of eh. Like, it's okay, but... Um, I like Orange Fanta the most, but Sunkiss I grew up with. Sunkiss is pretty good. Though my favorite, my favorite soda of all time is... Um, so it's a toss-up. If you count like the regular ones, then doc regular Dr. Pepper. But if you count like the variants from like all those machines, um, like the mixes, then then I like cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper or cherry vanilla Coke. But when it comes to Pepsi versus Coke, for me, Coke. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... Wh what was that just now? Isn't that where... It came from the direction of Zaude. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, I see. Oh shit. Oh my god. something to set this off that is the true catastrophe that thing does look like it could eat the whole world what are we supposed to do about something like that it's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife oh man hey Rita Duke said the autophagos was born from air huh <laughs> so if the spirits convert air into matter could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But... I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri! Then it's settled. Oh, man. Baul! Yes, I see. Then the servants of the Autophagos are attacking the city, Nordopolica. Nordopolica? <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Like, looks like that's where I gotta go now. Ooh! I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Autophagos back! What could have happened at Zaude? Those nutjobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. Oh man. I sure hope so. Alright, let's go this way. Return to the field map. Alright, first first things first. It's the map. We're gonna fly to Nautopolica. 
Oh, it's right there in front. Alright, now we're gonna save. Actually, hold up, before we save, we use a simple test. And then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna go in. Let's go. Look! It's hanging on to the city! That black thing. That's what we saw on the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Alright, sure. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. Maybe, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. Remember the boss from Kogoro? You have to fight two of them now. Yeah, I'll take the hint. A daybreaker and nightbreaker. Let me do this right here. Now we'll magic lens the other one. So what's the hint? Gotta take out one at a time. Unequip Sheenan and turn all of Rita's fire and water rates because Sheenan has a fire affinity and you will do one damage to the Daybreaker and Rita will heal the Nightbreaker with her water spells and vice versa for the Daybreaker with fire spells. Alright. Splash is off. Oh, wait. They were all already off. Oh, yeah, I do have the false one. This one's almost dead. That one's dead, now we got the other one. Hey! Hey! 
These seem easy otherwise. More Let's EXP. go check it out. I can do even better than this. I'm even sweet. Very good. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. You were. Oh shit. I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised. Huh? And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us. But it turned out to be the opposite. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks. Phew! I can't believe the Autofagos could spawn such a disgusting monster! The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autofagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just going to attack everything? Ah, ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not going to run away or anything, I swear! Roar, roar. Roar. All right. So now that that's taken care of, let's move around this way. Be the Coliseum. Oh, boy. Buy some stuff while we're here. Go to Osprey and go to the middle of the square when we to talk we'll talk to some mages alright. Alright, so rest in the end. Alright, let's see what happens next. We're gonna go outside. Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. Hmm. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. 
Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Yeah, now we got Okay. Do that. that monster. All Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Autophagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelakea left either. Yeah. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm, then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Autophagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no! This is your genius plan! Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained, gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even wow. Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. <sighs> Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single ore is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There will be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Autophagos, even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baal knows where the other Antelikea are, right? Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. More fireworks outside. Alright, let's go. Now we shall leave. Gotta figure out where to go next. Shining forest of Area Lumen and the root of the world, Reloise. I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. Oh, we're gonna be a spell. Okay. Hmm. He doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Hmm. Area Lumen is in the northeast part of Tulpikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the Sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Yep, right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea? 
The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land. But every time they lost communication and no one ever returned. Ooh. It's the last unexplored land on Tercolumeres. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wake is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. All right. Let's figure everything out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go and fly to Pharaoh's Crag. directly to it. I have to fly on my own instead of fast travel. Sounds like Koro. Koro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, that was it. Alright, so what I'll do is let's go to Rita. Is it the revenge spell? Or is it something else? Could be this one. I'm not sure if it's this one or is it... It's an art for Rita. A really good art. What's the name of the art? Actually, let me scroll up. Media store, okay. Wait, what's the name of the weapon I have to use to get Meteor Storm? Actually, never mind. Let me actually look around. First up to go to Osprey. Oh, gotta go Osprey. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright. Remind us of boy for a bit. I'd like to talk to the mages here about spirit conversion. Sure, go ahead. All the blasted research might be useless pretty soon anyway. Alright, I'll try not to be too long. So that's about the long and short of it. Wow, things have gotten pretty bad. Spirits, huh? So you're saying you want to take our Blastia research away from us? People can't live without Blastia. I don't like this idea one bit. 
You all sure talk big for a bunch of amateurs with underfunded research that no one cares about. What did you say? You want to rumble? I didn't come here to listen to you have your petty arguments. Can you just put your emotions on hold for a few minutes? Anyway, it's as I told you. We mages will soon be unable to simply continue with our studies of last year. I just thought it would be best if I let you know. We can't accept what you told us. Even if you're the best brain in Ospio, you're still a child. But also reluctant to pay heed to the word of one so young as you. Surely that's all it is. That's really not the issue here. Adults have their own way of discussing things. You just leave everything to us. Right, we'll do something about that stubborn bunch. Sorry about that, come on, let's go. Is it really okay to leave so soon? I mean, it's fine, let's go. Next, go to Halor and rest of the end, then go back to Square and Ospio, and it doesn't doesn't trigger sleep at Halor, come back until it triggers, okay. Pretty good. Nice. Alright. Uno, do, tre, quattro. No, it's too difficult to do by myself. What to do? What to do? What was that? That guy's the definition of creepy. Yeah, maybe we ought to just keep, in, keep on moving. Oh, Bunguino, you came at a good time. Oh, what's with this guy? My name's Sicily P Piacere. Ah, we used to meet you, too. Still, you're the only you're encouraging him. I have to say, I'm having a piccolo problema. Do you think you can help me? And you want us to help you? What is it that you want help with? Well, Signorita, Signorina, I've been accounting the petals that fall from this tree. But it's a bit difficult to do with that. Well, about time we hit the old dusty trail. Good idea. Aspetta, please wait, why won't you help me? This guy's pretty annoying. All I need is someone to help, even that Signor would suffer. Poor Valor? Huh, me? And when you mean even this, the Signor, what are you trying to insinuate? Alright, Raven, we're counting on you. Yeah, make it fast, okay? Still don't really know what's going on, but good luck. Um, I guess it's okay. You'll now get things done. He's a real go getter. Being multi binion, so signal you go and look over that way. Hold on just a second. I still haven't said I help at all. It'll be easier if you just give an X at your fatal, man. Yeah, make it snappy, would you? Yeah. I'm not good talking to these things. I count all of them, from here all the way over there. There's 97,201 petals in all. Gee, I thought it'd be something like that. Grazie. Well, what the hell is all this for anyway? Oh, Signor, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. Secret, huh? Whatever, I'm gonna go now. Espera, Signor, your name, what is it? Raven. Raven, you did a good job today. I'm sure good luck will come your way. Arrivederci! Arrivederci! Good luck coming my way? That'd be a nice change. Hey, I just realized something. You learn to Arrivederci. I'm a pretty complex guy. Well, that was definitely a mouthful.
Yeah, that guy has to be Italian. Cause that, cause that is definitely Italian. Back to us, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Last year that we excavated that weren't working are now working again. How strange, almost like they're resonating with something. Doesn't look like anything's happening. I might have to leave and come back. Alright, so let's go do this. Alright then, let's go do that. I, I hit beat by accident. Let's move. Try clicking the sticks on the world map. All right. Yeah, I tried. It didn't work. Let's try this again. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's you. Look at this. That's... It's magic using spirits. It's not yet complete, though. Pretty nice, eh? This guy managed to work out the spirit formula. Nah, this is not the real here. I have to say I'm impressed that you managed to cast a spell like this. <laughs> Please, you're too kind. You already started doing the spirit research despite all your objections earlier. Don't think you think it's a little hypocritical? We're still continuing our blasty research. We're just added one more area in which to focus that research. Well, not that I mind or anything, so what sort of formula is it? Don't be so nosy. We're all majors of blasphemy, aren't we? We can be civil to each other. We can trust you to keep the construction of this formula in Aspian secret? Of course. First, you draw a textual formula around the outside edge to isolate the fire attribute. Rita seemed pretty worried, but it looks like things are going to work out. As researchers, researchers, their desire to study new things is too powerful to fight. Yeah, they may be older than Rita, but these mages are all made the same stuff. So that's how it works. This part is something we haven't been able to understand. How would you do it? Hmm. I got it. Like this. Ooh. Whoa. Hey, hey, that's just too powerful. Sorry. But I think that we can use this. Yes, what do you think? Yes, do you mind if I use it? Well, we prefer something a little less volatile. We're going to see if there might be a slightly more practical direction we could take it in. Right, let me give it some more thought as well. If I come up with a better way to use that formula, I'll let you know. Thanks a lot. And 
Rita learned Mini Meteor Storm. That's awesome. It is so awesome. Okay. Now let's now let's actually move on. We're gonna go to um We're gonna go to see Pharaoh again. Oh! You have to press You have to press both sticks. So that's what you gotta do. You have to press both sticks in order to do it. Yeah, I... Of course I wanna use it. Let me go get it. No, no, no. Not, not right now, Patty. Alright. It's on, yes. Good. either I go with this and get more TP I think I'll probably just go with this first and use it and then use the death contrast to seem to run into Pharaoh on the world map with Baul and you don't have to worry about a boss fight all right I guess I'm not supposed to go in here. Yeah, I gotta look for... Hey, no, I don't want to climb down. Okay, so it is a left stick. fight like this mm -hmm. it's probably so humans won't get his apatheia human greed knows no bounds even the sky offers no sanctuary then there really isn't anywhere that's safe pharaoh hey he's landing yeah but where's he landing it, it looks like he's calling us let's go all right back at the crack Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry. But things aren't over yet. Zalda is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your Apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world, but you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Ooh. Do with me as you please. Wow. Damn.
What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. You never got to fight him. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Shit. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The spirit of fire. <laughs> I feel unlimited power. before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. Uh. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. All right, let's return to field now. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, we can't save in the air. All right. So, we have two more to go. We already got the fire, we got the water. We need to get the other two, the earth and the wind. Once we get both of them. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is we are gonna go to we're gonna go to the next place. The next two spirits are in dungeons, okay. Let's, let's do this um, skit. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intelakea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day... Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. 
If the spirits represent evolution for the Intellikea, then... You know what? I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll probably do... I'll probably do the next dungeon at the next stream, but I'll make my... What I'll do is I'll probably go to the area from where I need to go to. I just want to make sure I know where it is, but I'm not going to do that. Let's look at the map, though. So where am I? Oh, right there. It's above Capitorum? Alright. Yeah, I just want to make sure I know where it is. Right next to Sophia. Alright, I want to see if I'm going the right way. Yeah. That was a big fireworks. I want to I want to check this out real quick. Is was that it? Either way, let me go get this. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's it though. Let's eliminate them. Oh, okay. Because I don't think that's it. Back in the air I go. Side quest I really don't want to start. You said it's right next to Zofia. Okay. Zofia is right here. Look at the sky. Let me know how close I am to where I need to go. Like, is this it? Found it? Okay, okay, cool. We're lucky Pharaoh decided to help us out. He's a little extreme, but there's no doubt he cares for this world, just like Judy said. I've been hard on him in the past, but he has helped us out all this time. We must defeat the Autophagos and save the world for Pharaoh and his love of the world. Ah, uh, no cheesy lines. Yeah, come on! Honestly, you two should learn to show your feelings. Alright, so... I think for the rest of the stream tonight, I'm just gonna... Um, I'm just gonna grind for a bit. Do I want to make the final boss dungeon even longer and harder? No, I do not. So I'm just gonna grind for the rest of the stream. Okay, what rock you crawled out from and I'll do the next... Two, those two dungeons, um, the next time I stream this game. Yeah, we'll not do that side quest. I don't want it to be any harder than it already is. Until my neck, my characters level up. Well, Reed is about to be level up soon. Like Yuri is like the the most ahead of, out of everyone. I have been trained by knights. I won't lose. Shining 
I'd probably give it to a stout or repeat. I'll give it to a repeat. I think I might actually do a bit of grinding off screen as well. Upstream. But either way, this area is where I need to be at for next time. But let's just grind. Man, I want some more. I'll also learn specials too. It's Dark Seal. How the moon selector works in the far screen with the ability to order arch and items and press X. Ah. Don't be afraid. 
Alright, very good. This one's strong. Get ready for anything. Hey! Shining Dragon Sword! Hey! Hey! There we go, knock out. Was so easy. This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. sure that everyone gets level up as soon as, it, as soon as possible. We won! That's the cry of victory! Yep. Repeat. 
This one's strong. Get ready for anything. Shining face! Oh, boy. Gotta keep going. Your storm is so fucking awesome, dude. I am so glad that you told me to get this. It's so good. So fucking good. as much as I can. Let's take a look at the um, seals. Let's look at the weapons here. There we go. Let's eliminate them. Do a few more fights though. And then I'm gonna um then I'll call it a stream. We'll see how much I can do. Yes, this game is great. I'm uh, I'm in the third I'm in the third act of this game. How are you doing eight times? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, 
Awesome. Let me set up real quick. Alright. Playing Fortnite? Alright, cool. Right now, I'm just getting through this. I've been trained by knights. I won't lose. I'm just doing a bit of grinding right now. Because the next wave of enemies I'm going to fight against are going to be super strong. Yep. Yo, good to see you, Robbie Bob Miller. Currently playing some Tales of Asperia. Doing a bit of grinding because we need to level up. I feel like I'm super behind and I need to get get um to the next level one by one. But I'm enjoying this game. I, I fucking love it so much. I think out of all the games that I've done in my outfit challenge, this is definitely up there as one of my favorites. My favorite so far is Doom 2016. And this is definitely up there. Puppet's also up there. Yeah, I talked to, I talked with Epic Man and um he's gonna lend me his Wii U since my Wii U needs to get fixed, which I don't know when the hell that's gonna be. Um he's gonna lend me his Wii U so I can do um the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, which is the L game for my own red challenge that I still have to do. This looks like fun! And at some point, I want to do the other one. I want to do Twilight Princess, um, Skyward Sword. For Twilight Princess, I'll play the AT version, but Skyward Sword, I'm going to play as it is, unless Nintendo decides to remaster Skyward Sword for the Switch, which I would love. Yeah, Doom, Doom was fantastic. And I eventually want to stream Doom Eternal. I don't know when, but I'm waiting for the Switch version to come out. That's the version I, because the Switch version was the one I did. And Doom, Doom Eternal, like, even with my PC as it is now, I think that my PC, it can handle it, but streaming it will actually be a nightmare. I can do Because of the fact that I'm probably gonna need a better video card than what I have. This enemy doesn't look so I want to so run nice. with no we like compromise. Be Cause that's what happened when I was doing my portal stream last month. I'm turning to stone. Get that Panacea model ready. Thank you. There's still a couple of Switch games I need to get um, that I missed out on. Like, I'm gonna get Xenoblade, because that came out like almost two weeks ago. Um, and I will eventually stream Xenoblade. You picked the wrong people to fight with. I'm even stronger. But I also need to get Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I purposely did not get it on the Wii U because I had a feeling it was going to come to Switch. And lo and behold, it did. I still gotta get it. I'm going to be picking up Paper Mario and Origami King when it comes out. And that's another series I want to do, like, I want to do all the Paper Marios, but the only one I won't be able to do will be Sticker Stars. Though, I know a lot of people didn't like that one. I know that Chuck and Conroy loves Sticker Star. Alright, who's next? 
That being said, um... Come back. I hope I can get a 3DS capture card at some point, because there's way, way too many games that I want to stream them down. Like the, the second set of the Ace Attorney games, um, the entirety of the Professor Layton series, I have Tales of the Abyss for the, for the 3DS. I don't no know what's on PS2, but the 3DS version has like way, way less low times. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Kid Icarus Uprising, easily. Fire Emblem Awakening. And I don't know if I want to do Fates on screen. I, did, I couldn't really get into Fates. Um, Shadows of Valentia, I definitely want to do. And of course, one series that I would definitely stream a lot of games for. Pokemon. I'll do, um... Yeah, because I, I still have to go back and finish Crystal. So I have to restart that from the beginning on stream. Since on my since when my PC when the motherboard on my PC got fried nearly two years ago. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Uh, I ended up having to reformat everything once I upgraded. So I lost a save file for that. So I'll have to eventually do that at some point. Cause I did Pokemon Red. So I need to do Crystal, then I'll do Emerald, then Platinum, then I'll do um, Black and Black 2, then um, Y, and then Moon. Because I already did, um, I already did Shield, and I'm going to do the Shield um, expansion when that comes out this month. Next week, actually. Alright, I'll do one more fight. And at least someone's gonna get to the next level patty room. Last time I saved? Holy shit. Alright. Alright, so I saved. I think that's gonna be it right here for the stream. So the next time that I stream this, um, I'm gonna be, because before that I'm gonna be grinding off stream. I'm gonna be doing that during this weekend. Um, and we'll see how far I can actually go. And then I'm gonna continue the rest of the story. Um, 
I think next Monday would be good for me to do that. Um, I'll I'll figure my schedule out um, by by the end of the week. So, all right. Speaking of schedule for this week, tomorrow we're gonna start things off with Kirby Superstar at seven p.m. I'm gonna do Milky Way wishes, and then I'm gonna be doing um, the arena. And then after that, I'm gonna be moving on to Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. I'm gonna be playing with. Silverstone Connor, MMG Mike, Bullet Maple, Asperia, Matt Big Fat, The Epic Man, and Mystic Ninja. Those are the ones who are going to be joining us. And then Saturday night, we got Saturday night's Game Club, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's going to be a blast as well. So, also game you pull. Be sure to go ahead and vote. So it's either going to be either. Unepic, Undertale, Unruly Heroes, or Unravel 2, and I will be streaming one of those games, close the poll when I beat Tales of Asperia, but I'll stream the winner of those games once that comes through. But yeah, so, thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to get the credits rolling, I'm going to go find somebody that I can actually raid. Um, but yeah, thank you all for tuning in, as always. Um, special thanks to Vesperia for all the help. You've, you've definitely done a lot, CTK Mixer. And Vesperia, thank you. Also, would like to thank um, everyone else that came through. Also to um, NW06 for the host and Arita Chan for the raid. And also to Delher55 for the follow, which was off off stream before I even started. Um, but, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see who's online that I can actually rate. Uh, there's a lot of people on right now. Um, let's see. Kalamus playing Breath of the Wild. Elizabeth's playing some Animal Crossing. Surinix is doing some art. A lot of people I can actually raid. Um, holy shit. Um, I'm looking at who is who's on right now. And and I see Sev the Beast playing Okami. Yeah. That's who I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Sev the Beast tonight. Um so let's go ahead and give him that raid, because um, I played Okami a few months ago, and I thought that was an amazing game, so. We're going to go and raid Seb the Beast. Let's do that. Alright, so let's get ready to raid in just a moment. That was my O game for the Alphabet Challenge, and I ended up being that game fantastic game i highly recommend anyone who has never played okami to play that game we're gonna go wait seven the beast so thank you all for tuning in i will see you guys tomorrow for kirby and then for sonic and all stars racing transform take care have a great night and as always fight for an lasting peace stay safe out there and take care of yourselves